Okay, now we're going to attach our walls to the roof, which I find easiest to do in my 3D view. So I'm just going to click on the little house up here to open up my three-dimensional view. And I'm going to select my walls by holding down Control while I select them to add walls to my selection. And then I'm going to hold down Shift and the scroll wheel to kind of orbit around to find like the best kind of view, I guess, to add walls to my selection. You can do the walls separately, but I find it easier just to try to get all of the walls at once. So I'm just going around and selecting all of my walls except for the curtain walls. And once I have them all selected, I'm going to go attach top to base and then click on my roof. For the curtain walls, I'm going to click on one of them. You want to make sure that you're getting that dashed hidden line going all the way around the entire curtain wall. And then attach top to base click on the roof. You're going to get this error code, which we can just hit delete elements on. What it's saying is that it needed to have four by four kind of boxes going all the way up, and that this now is going to make it where it, these ones can't be four by four, which is okay. And so I'm going to click on this other one, attach top to base, click on my roof, and when I get this error code, I'm just going to click on Delete Element. And now I'm able to have, I'll go back into this view, and now I've got all of my exterior walls attached to the roof. I can also turn shadows on to kind of look at everything and have it have, have a bit more of a realistic feel by coming down here to my kind of view control bar and just starting shadows on or off. And I'll save my work.